Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. I'm not sure about you, but it took me literally months to get approved on LinkedIn Live. Yesterday, after going live with Chris Voss, Brandon Voss, and Derek Gaunt from Black Swan, uh, I didn't realize that this email was sitting in my social media inbox and I just saw it. So what I'm going to do via this video is to walk all of you guys through what it takes to go live on LinkedIn. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Restream, a multi-streaming company software uh, that I've partnered with on a number of videos. So I really look forward to this one to show you step by step how to go live on LinkedIn. <laughs> First, this email is very, very bare minimum. So it says, congratulations, let's get started. Now, once you arrive on this page, you are greeted with some of these instructions. So uh, I'm gonna let's take a look at this together. Please make sure that you have applied for access to LinkedIn Live and gained approval. So it looks like this page is out in the open, but if you haven't been approved, then this probably isn't gonna work. So in step one, select your streaming tool. As you can see, LinkedIn Live will work with Restream, StreamYard, Easy Live, Live U. Just double check on this and you get a full list of these services that you can use. Next is integrate your tool with LinkedIn. Once you decided which one you want to use, just visit the third party tool section of the resources hub for all the technical documentation, how to set up, and that's it. All right, so let's go over some of these guidelines and uh, policies and processes. Do not go live for more than once a day. So that's interesting. If you want to go live more than once a day, you kind of have to pick one that you really truly want to go live with. Go live within the first 60 days of access. Um, do not use pre-recorded content. So in this case, for example, Restream will allow you to go live with scheduled or pre-recorded content. Due to recent update, the option to edit channel settings is no longer supported. Please delete your channel, re-add it to make setting adjustments. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is actually delete LinkedIn and just re-add it back in. And for your uh, information, I did apply for the personal LinkedIn profile because that's where all my followers are. I do have a company page, but I only have about 44 people there. So it really made a lot more sense for me to use the LinkedIn personal. So within Restream, I'm going to click on add channel, find LinkedIn up here. It says beta. Personal profile or organization. So personal profile, I'll click on save. And as you can see, my channel is now lit up down here. So what I'm going to do is actually just try to go live real quick and see if it works or not. This can be very exciting. So to do that, I'm going to enter live studio. So before I do that, what I want to do is make sure that my captions is uh, my setup is correct. So, hey, it's Faye from Faye's World Media. I'm going live for the first time on LinkedIn. It's been a great opportunity. Okay, so I can do that. So I'll update this, I'll do that. And then you can see that it's only LinkedIn is the only one um, that's turned on right now. I'm going live for the first time on LinkedIn. And I also want to prepare some of my window that I want to show off in terms of, uh, let's see, my Face World event page. Which is So this is what I meant. Um, I went live using Restream Studio. Um, how do I feel about the studio? I, I like it somewhat. I do like a little bit more touch up and, uh, and all that jazz that I can get from Zoom and the fact that I don't have to explain Zoom. So to me, Restream's Live Studio is just a great add-on, especially if you're gonna just go live, press a button, but you can easily do that through Zoom as well. Um, let's take a look. So I went to LinkedIn. I know I didn't really go live for a very long time. I probably should have, but um, the point is I didn't really get a, get a notification right away. So I wonder what the delay would be or, or maybe because I am the original signal that I was the one who went live, perhaps there wouldn't be a notification. With that said, what I did was going to my profile, as you can see here, and I scroll down and I was able to see that, look, under activity, there's something that says, hey, it's Faye from Faye's Raw Media. I clicked on that and this is what I got. So it's a little pixelated right away. Um, so let's take a look at the interface. Um, I can enable sound. 
So I just muted myself, but you can see that I scroll, I can scroll through everything. It's about two minutes and 11 seconds. I can easily share this if I want. Um, I can share that, you know, I can interact with this video the same way as other people when they see this video. And I, I was able to use screen share, you know, um, as you can see this link right here, let's also verify that maybe this is a permalink. I don't know for sure. So what happened if somebody isn't logged into LinkedIn? So that link, as you can see, is a, yeah, it is a permalink, not a great photo of me, but as you can see that you're able to access this information and um, you can sign in to watch it, but you're unable to click on it and watch it right away. The link is clickable that takes you to the event, but that's about it. So coming back to this right hand side, you can see all the content, how long ago it was streamed to. Um, and also let's see the navigation from here. I'm able to click on this three dots here feature on top of the profile. That's interesting. I didn't realize that before copy link to a post embed this post somewhere. So, um, edit this post, delete control, who can see it visible to anyone on or off LinkedIn, as you guys saw just now. So I can also edit this to include additional links if I want to. Um, so that's, that's really interesting. Um, so I guess I went live successfully. Uh, that's always positive. So good luck guys. Again, the more content native content you share, especially native video content, meaning you're not using, um, YouTube link or outside links opposed to LinkedIn, the more you share, the better off you would be. Send them reminders and make sure you, you apply. I'll include the application link, um, below as well. Um, along with all the resources shared earlier in this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is Fei Wu from face world media. I absolutely love producing video content. It is because of you guys that makes it possible. So interesting. And I hope you stick around. Please hit the subscribe button. Drop me a link, uh, drop me a comment. I always try to look through all of them and reply as much as possible. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you later.